Now, you also worked on uh, worked in diversity and inclusion mm -hmm. for several years at firms like BP and Pfizer, mm -hmm. Memorial Sloan Kettering. Tell us why it's important to have diversity and inclusion strategies and policies as part of an organization's overall strategy. Well, I would say just look at the news, right? I mean, I think the world needs diversity and inclusion uh, addressed now more than it ever has before. Why? Because the world is getting smaller. As the world is getting smaller, people with all sorts of different experiences and characteristics are now more frequently coming to contact with each other. What we need to understand is how, as we put people with these differences interacting with each other, how we respect those differences and leverage it to get to a higher outcome. So very often when we talk about diversity and inclusion strategy, there are three pillars of work diversity, inclusion, and meritocracy. We need to understand the differences that exist and how to leverage them. On inclusion, we need to have the right behaviors that actually values and respects those differences. And finally, we need to have meritocracy to make sure there's no either intended or unintended biases in any of our management processes. Can you tell us about the challenges that you faced in implementing some diversity inclu and inclusion strategies mm -hmm. while you were at the helm? One, if you're uh, not careful, you can become overly politically correct. You know, I was with one organization where um, early on I asked them about the diversity of their high potential list. And they said, oh, it's very diverse. So I got the list, and by looking at the list, I realized the vast majority was white males. And so when I challenged them on this, they said, well, what do you mean? At our organization, everyone's diverse. And so, you know, I believe that we need to look at things like diversity of thought. I believe we need to look at all sorts of aspects. But you can't get to the place where you ignore the fact that there are still basic systemic issues dealing with gender, ethnicity, and other dimensions that have to be addressed. So don't become overly politically correct. You have to address those real issues.